Hello, welcome back to IT Landy. Uh, for today, uh, we have a new topic. It's around Hadoops. And if you are not familiar with it, then go through the you know sessions and videos about introduction to Hadoop. But the focus for this session is around securing Hadoops within Azure. So the, 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 the plan for our uh, 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 sessions and the video will cover uh, the following. Uh, what is securing Hadoops and what is supported AD configurations and what is Azure Active Directory Domain Services, steps to provision secure Hadoop cluster and where to find information when provisioning basically fail. So, uh, let's we jump into the first part. What is uh, secure Hadoop? There are four pillars for uh, securing or the security, uh, four pillars of the security and uh, capturing the requirement within Hadoop. And that will govern uh, I mean the pillars around the Hadoops. This uh, basically for around uh, uh, the, the, the pillars of Hadoop's uh, authentication, authorization, then auditing, and then data protection. What does that mean, each one of them? I'm sure you are familiar with these uh, terminologies with other resources, but the main focus here is around Hadoop. Authentication is around multi-user uh, cluster through registration with AD. However, only users that are, they are explicitly authorized to log on are able to do so. This is the authentication, the authorization, only users that are allowed to access to Hadoop resources are able to do so. Apache Ranger plugin provide the functionality for us and where we can apply the RBAC or role-based access control to determine the user authorized to do whatever within the application. And then pillar number three is the auditings. Hadoop administrators and uh, auditors can audit who and how the cluster resources are being basically accessed and maintain it. And we have the HD Insight support auditing via Apache uh, Ranger. Yeah. And the last pillar, which is uh, the data protection, this pillar deals with encryption and key management. Basically, we have the WASP encryption address provided by storage service encryption and then we have the ADLS encryption address managed by the ADLS. <clears throat> These are the two options we have around what is secure Hadoop. Do remember the four pillars around Hadoops. We move on to the next part. HD Insight Secure Hadoop Offering. This is again limited public preview Monday 17th of October. Hadoop is only supported cluster type in private preview. HD Insight 3.5 is the only supported version. We have multi-user cluster via AD integration available in a standard cluster. And then we have the multi-user clusters plus Apache Ranger will be a premium offering. Again, a lot of these things with HD Insight are keep improving, introducing Microsoft's uh, new features. As of today, these are the available one. Then we move to we move on to the possible secure Hadoop directory configuration. We have the scenarios like cloud only. This allow all the directory information which are stored in Azure AD. It requires use of Azure AD as a domain surface, which what we will cover later on in a technical deep dive. And then we have the hybrid uh, mix of on-premise and cloud. On-premise AD will lead the authentication authorization, but maybe we can use Azure AD Connect to sync certain objects. It, it does require Active Directory domain services. Uh, either you have it in hybrid or you have it in, driven by, you know, the cloud or on-premise. It depends on your approach. And then the last part is only on-premise directory. This is purely uh, on-premise. We have to use like an ARM and VNet and, you know, like your express route. It is only for the AD on-premise, HD Insight installed on a second, uh, let's we call it a data center, or it could be, you can uh, run it within like a second, you know, via an ARM template, and you can use Express Route to do this one. AD domain surface, not required for this scenario because you are independent from the uh, component level. Now, 
this is what I had for you for this to start with. Next, we will deep dive into the Hadoop security and we will do some technical analysis and we will do some technical introduction. Thank you for watching and goodbye for